This video talks you through the writing test. You have one minute to read the writing instruction page, which tells you that the five minutes reading time will start as soon as you click next and that you won't be able to highlight the case notes during this time. You will be able to highlight the case notes and start typing your letter once the 40 minutes writing time starts. During the reading time, as well as in the writing time, you can use the zoom options to increase or decrease the size of the text in the case notes and the hand tool to grab and quickly move the case notes up and down. Remember, after using the hand tool, you will need to click on the icon again before in the writing time you will be able to use the highlight function. As with the other sections of the test, you can end the reading time early, but I really wouldn't encourage it. Using all of the five minutes, as you would in the paper-based version of the test, will mean you can read and reread the case notes carefully and understand the task. It also allows you time for some mental planning, which will definitely help once the writing time starts. If you are considering ending the reading time early, you must understand that any reading time left is not added on to the writing time and your decision is final. Although I am going to end the reading time early for this demonstration, I would strongly recommend making full use of the reading time. You will also notice the icon below the writing task in the right hand panel, which would open a pop up version of the case notes if the left hand panel is not displaying correctly. But if the two panels are displaying as you can see now on the screen, then I would ignore this icon button. If you close the left hand panel accidentally, then you can click on the icon to reopen the panel. Similarly, if you accidentally unpin the text panel, you can click on the two arrows icon again to return it to its original position. It is my recommendation to leave the two panels open as they are displayed now throughout the writing test. During the writing time, you can highlight the case notes to help you select which information to include in your letter. You can also highlight within the writing task or from the task on the top of the answer box. You should lay out your letter as you would if you were handwriting it with the address and date at the top left with a line space before writing the greeting and RE line and a line space between paragraphs. Copy and paste functions as well as spell checking functions are disabled so you will not be able to use these when typing and will need to edit your letter by deleting and retyping and checking your spelling and grammar once you have written your letter. Once you have written your letter, you will find below the box you have been typing in instructions about finally finishing the test. My recommendation is that you use the whole 40 minutes available and any spare time for proofreading. If you do this, then at the end of the 40 minutes, the writing test will close and you'll be directed to the end screen. We finished looking around, so I'm going to click the finish test button in the top right hand corner. I'm asked twice if I'm sure about this decision, because after this the test is over. There's an end screen where you're also asked to click finish test and then a prompt to close your browser, at which point you're all done.